Okay, so for this demonstration, we have uh, two boards hooked up. Push this you know, out the way. I've got the uh, launch pad going to a uh, USB, and I've got a, an Arduino Mega 2560, and they are both hooked up to this PC here. All right, and neither one of them has a uh, valid program running right now. So you'll be able to see me program this up now. And first, I'll open up the Arduino software on the PC and I'm sorry if I was doing this right I'd be uh, using like Camtasia or something but this is easier and we'll go ahead and do well let me make sure I have this set up right board mega 2560 and then uh, let's see serial port com5 that's right okay so I'm gonna get a sketch Examples somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Examples, and we're gonna load up basics and blank. Okay, so there's a one not that big. There's the blank sketch. Alrighty. Now let's take a look. Okay, going to go ahead and hit upload. We're gonna watch our board here, our mega. some activity and there's our LED blinking at the rate of 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004 that's once a second okay now let's take a look at this board and the LED let's see LED2 let's see there you could probably see it there's LED1 and LED2. We're going to be blinking LED2. Uh, Launchpad actually has two onboard LEDs. And I've already taken the liberty of uh, installing, installing the software. But first, before I load that, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this blink program and copy it. And I'll minimize that because I want you guys to see that you can run the exact same program and let's see where's energy uh, yeah here it is okay and you'll notice the menu structure of energia is the exact same you install it the same meaning you don't install it you just copy the uh, folder over anywhere you want I put mine on the desktop and uh, you should recognize this folder structure very similar And nice little, uh... Now I did a little research on Energia, and what Energia was, was a uh, Soviet rocket program. <laughs> uh, they use it to, I think it was supposed to launch their version of the space shuttle. But anyway, we are inside of Energia now, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to copy, and already copy, I'm going to paste. Now this is the same exact sketch that I just pasted in, and we need to make some changes that... Uh, well, the only change we need to make is, see how it says pin 13 has an LED connected on most Arduino boards. The difference on the launch pad is the uh, LED 2 is actually on pin 12. And there is a reference for that at the Energia website. Okay, so we're just going to define that as int LED equals 12. And that should be all we got to do. Okay, so now... This is the upload button, very, very, uh, well, the same as the Arduino. I'll click that. And let's go back over to the launch pad and see if we have success. We don't, let's see, what have I done wrong? It says done uploading. May oh wait I screwed up I used the wrong pin number let's see we need to go 1.6 that's 14 okay I used the wrong pin number excuse me so let me just change this to change this to 14 and then I'll be hitting upload now let's watch the LED on the 
clicking upload. And we have success. So I was able to use the same exact code to make LEDs blink on Arduino and Launchpad boards. And that is pretty awesome considering the cost and uh, power usage and many other things about the Launchpad. $4.30 a piece. That's awesome. And now it's the software is simple enough for all of us to use. So very excited. Uh, that's Energia. And they don't have a website. They're on the MSP MSP four MSP uh, four thirty board is called uh I'll go to it now so you can see it. It's uh four three O dot com. That's a website for the uh, MSP430 enthusiast, and then you just go to forums, and they have a forum here, which they really deserve their own website, but they have a forum called Energia, and that's their support, and you can read all about, uh, discuss like libraries you're looking for and stuff like that. They've already ported over like the servo library and LCD serial and a bunch of other libraries that people use a lot. Uh, and they're they're getting more and more all the time, trying to make shields work and whatnot, and actually get the Ener energy of program. Let's see, you go to uh, GitHub.com. You can just Google GitHub Energia, but here here is the uh, it's GitHub.com slash Energia. Go to the main main site. Let's see, let me search for it real quick. Energia, there we go. Okay, yeah, here's the main site here. Uh, GitHub.com slash Energia, lowercase slash Energia with an uppercase E backslash. And is where all the uh, library files and all that are. And then they also have a link to their main page here. Which is a little more verbose and telling you how to do everything. So, thanks very much to these guys for making this happen. Uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper for people to program microprocessors because of them. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.